Hello everybody. Uh, t today I am going to talk about PLA scale optimization or performance tuning. We always hear, hear about performance tuning. What is performance tuning? It's really a very fascinating word, the performance tuning. Oh, it is kind of performance tuning. It's very skillful in performance tuning. So what's exactly performance tuning? Every, all the companies are banging their head, okay, searching for real PLA skill developer or DBA who knows performance tuning who can optimize the database so why are they so scratching their head about this why the HR are just searching about real developers who can do real performance tunings it's a very 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 important issue uh, that is performance tuning in this age when everything has got to web everything has got to cloud okay there is huge database there is lack some crores of records in the tables in maximum huge there are huge number of clients who are hitting this database retrieving data okay and it's very important that the procedure the functions you write it should be optimized the code should be optimized the select statement you are using the data you're retrieving should be optimized it should run faster okay because clients are very impatient they need everything very fast and they cannot wait and they can think okay i'm using the database okay it's it's a so important data i'm getting i should wait i should be patient i should mm, get the data if you cannot provide th the good performance uh, or good speed in your dat database then it may shift to any other client in any other company any other vendor so performance training is a very important part we today we are going to start with a very very important part of performance training it's a very important thing which is known as bulk collect now what exactly is bulk collect bulk collect bulk collect is something actually see when you suppose you declare a cursor you write a cursor and after that you mm, write a for for loop and you retrieve data from the cursor so what happens every time it fetch one record it fetch one record at a time it is fetching the record from the disk from the io <coughs> now suppose you are retrieving a huge amount of data 10000 20000 records at a time one after another every time he has to go to the disk is to fetch the record and bring it to the memory now bulk what bulk collect actually does bulk collect actually retrieves a chunk of data suppose a uh, 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 hundred data hundred records at a time thousand records at a time and it to get the data at a time and loads it into the your primary memory which is in your ram and it's very easy after that when you print that when you execute some statement regarding uh, related to that record it just retrieve that from your primary memory which is very faster so we today we are going to um, show you that how to use bulk collect how to retrieve data using bulk collect so in this case we are going to let me open the editor so uh, we are going to write a procedure uh, a simple script declare mm, cursor imp rec is select star from employee master type rec type rec type imp employee 
master percent row type i pls integer as i have told in a previous video this pls integer is better than number if you are serious about optimization <coughs> so open imp underscore rec I'm sorry I have to use another type tbl rec is table of type imp bar tbl rec is tbl rec tbl rec is a type of object and this is the variable open imp rec loop and loop this is the outer loop fetch imp rec into sorry bulk collect collect into var tbl rec now see in a loop for i in 1 var tbl rec dot count loop in loop sorry loop this is the end loop for the for this is the end loop for the outer loop tbms output dot put line let us print only M code and M name. Our TBL rec dot M name. Let us put another thing. Say. DBMS you can put it here it will be better DBMS output dot enable thousand uh, otherwise a buffer overflow may occur so close the cursor break Now see, uh, in this bulk collect, we will use one thing, limit. Suppose this uh, table contains 1000 records, so we limit it to 50. So now what will happen, uh, the every time a 50 chunk of records will be stored in var tbl rec, and that time will come when no more record is exist in the table so the count the var tbl rec count will be zero so we will put a condition here that is exit when var tbl rec dot count equal to zero 
otherwise it will go to an infinite loop so let's just check this one I'm sorry another program is here Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I have to make a little correction. Uh, we will not take any type EMP. Uh, this is not actually correct. Uh, we will delete this one, but take the employee master percent row type and put it here. Because see, it is the employee master percent row type is a record type. Okay. And any table object always contains record type. So when I declare type TBL underscore rec, stable it will be of it will consist of record where employee underscore master person row type is a <coughs> record record type and this table object contains multiple records see uh, we can uh, we can we should have used uh, record type suppose type uh, uh, record underscore rec underscore rec as a uh, something like that is record of employee master underscore master person row type but uh, that will only consist uh, you can only in insert one record at a time you when we you will use bulk collect you will have to always use table object which will which can take multiple records more than one records <coughs> so this is the current change which I have done now let's Check this one. Test this one in square prompt. Oh, end of file. Just a moment. problem with the script see the huge number of records uh, <coughs> let's do one thing limit the cursor to say where row num less than equal to 200 uh, then it will come four times we can also do one thing mm, put a underline dash in between so that you can understand <coughs> that how bulk collect is used sorry I am extremely sorry I have put it here this will be the outer loop let's make it here it is actually previously printing after printing of every records you will see let's clear up the screen now see uh, it's not possible to count it if you count that see it, uh, every chunk contains 50 records 50 50 50 50 and the dash in between so this is this is how the bulk collect actually functions and it is very very faster you cannot understand here because here a small amount of records small tables I cannot show you on huge data <coughs> maybe I can do it in some later videos where I can also show you the time difference where you just run a simple cursor and fetch say a single record every time one record at a time and then test on test it on bulk collect where chunk of 
data will be collected to the memory so you can go th through this code uh, I hope this code will help you <laughs> and this is the can you can say it's a first step to um, code optimization <coughs> there are also various software software like Myora, Foglight you can use the software which we by which you can understand what is actually what optimization actually do <coughs> so that's all uh, with this lesson have a good day.